dealing with dry, brittle hair and thinning hair loss. Have you tried any treatments, remedies for hair loss? Do you use any supplements? I can completely sympathize with your dry, brittle, thinning, and for me, frizzy hair, because it has been something that I have struggled with on and off for many, many years. I see that with three pregnancies that cause a lot of hair loss, as well as losing my husband, the stress that came along with that, and then add on menopause. I have had so many struggles with my hair. The brands I absolutely love for hair care, and honestly, I have been using the Bosley MD. I've known about that brand for years. I had an ex-boyfriend who had these products in his bathroom because he was dealing with a little hair loss. Hey, okay, to be truthful, he was really dealing with a lot of hair loss, but you know what? He had a fabulous head. He was quite cute. I started growing out my gray hair. I was also growing out a very, very short pixie cut. And honestly, I hadn't dealt with kind of the dry frizziness until my gray hair came along because suddenly my hair was extremely dry. The break off, the breakage, that I recognized from my postpartum pregnancy hair because it would, I had really long hair and it would break off so easily and I had so much of it in the shower that it was frightening. The hair, the hair would just come out in clumps for a long time. Using and I actually even got it for my sister because she's also dealing with hair loss and thinning. That's what you call big sister love. Bosley MD Mend Extend System has three different products that you use. It's very, whoop, very simple to use. Do not hire me for the juggling job. I won't be good at it. <laughs> the strengthening shampoo and it has a really nice nice clean scent conditioner and you know what i love is it's sulfate free so if you if you're someone that does have colored hair you can use that safely it's also vegan and cruelty free it has the leave-in conditioner and i can tell you i was never a big leave-in conditioner fan and then when i went gray and my hair was so dry i my hair drinks this up i absolutely love a leave-in conditioner products have pomegranate in them which helps stimulate the hair follicle one of the most important ingredients that i think is it has saw palmetto which helps inhibit dht one of the reasons that I like this product is A, it works, and B, it's affordable. And Bosley MD, this brand has been around, you know, I think since the 70s. It even has a 30-day money-back guarantee, which I think is great. And you know what? Trust me, I have returned plenty of things that just didn't work for me. So there's kind of a no risk. Now let's move along. Can you say stress? It's imperative to look at what is causing stress in our life anytime, but especially if you're dealing with hair loss or hair thinning, when we can mitigate those stressful situations, things that cause our cortisol to rise, if we can learn from me meditation techniques, yoga, getting out in nature, that's gonna do you, your body, your mind, and your hair so much benefit. Stress really wreaks havoc on everything in our life, including our hair. Now this next one is a big one. Oftentimes we don't wanna change our diet and lifestyle, but guess what? The truth is what we eat, what we put inside our body is what gives us our health and vitality, including our hair. Let's face it, the standard American diet is not health promoting. I'm gonna put on my health coaching hat too much, but I will say that we really have to make our diet a lifestyle and it needs to be one that is full of beautiful foods that include antioxidants, proteins, fats, really clean food that actually doesn't come from a box but that is grown from other nature. Okay, I actually do get really excited about health and nutrition because I know the power of food, the power of living a healthy lifestyle it has so many benefits. Like I said, not just for our body to be strong and healthy but to feel our best. It's the low hanging fruit but it does take commitment. Let's make a commitment to start putting more fruits and vegetables on your plate. You can crowd out the not so great stuff simply by just adding more fruits and vegetables. You ask if I've taken any supplements and I, I take a lot of various supplements because I'm definitely like a biohacking health babe, if you will. That's the thing, there are a lot of supplements out there and there's also a lot of snake oil. The products I take that I really love is called Primadine and it has an ingredient called Spermidine in it, which is definitely helpful for, they say helps promote autophagy, but also hair growth, nail growth. But Bosley MD, they make a hair growth capsule. I actually took that when I was going through menopause. I took the women's hair capsules and you know what? My, my ex that I told you about that was losing his hair, he was taking the men's capsules as well. So let's say one thing, as far as like just going crazy with lots of supplementation is get your blood work done. I have to get my blood work every four or five months because I take bioidentical hormones. And at least I have levels. Sometimes I'll get a big wide panel of blood work so that I can kind of see what's going on in my body. And last, but definitely not least, sleep. We are sleep deprived, and guess what? Our biggest beauty benefit and hair growth and fueling our body to be strong and vibrant and healthy 
happens when we sleep. I like to say you need to have good sleep hygiene so that you get a full night's rest. Because remember, your body does its most repair, rebuilding, restoring when you're sleeping. Ultimately, there are so many different products and procedures and things that you can try for your hair. But if we aren't doing the most important things like getting adequate rest, fueling our body well, we can do all the products in the world. And yes, you'll see some benefit. But if you want to see long lasting benefit and you want to work with your body instead of against it, you got to make those lifestyle changes too. Well, friend, I hope that some of the things that I've tried that have worked for me, that maybe they'll be a benefit for you as well. I understand the hair journey because they say it's just hair, but it's also just hair. And for women, you know, when we've got thinning hair or breaking, you know, breaking frizzy hair, it can be devastating. If you end up trying any of the things I suggested, please, you know, send me a DM or, or leave a comment below. But thank you so much for stopping by and have a great rest of your day.